Hello and welcome back folks, Heir of Carthage here in Total War Warhammer 3 and you might be wondering why you're seeing a giant turtle with a rocket battery of sorts on its back and it's because we're here to take a look at another mod today. This one is going to be Dead's Cafe Units. So he added five units to Cafe with this mod. I'll have a link in the description and it is some really cool work and I wanted to show it off. With the campaign now being moddable, there are a whole bunch of changes you can make. There's a lot of quality of life changes that have to do with upkeep cost and, uh, you know, movement per turn and different features of the campaign. And those are great. And I'll try and feature some of those and let you all know what my favorite campaign set of mods is. Um, but until then, I thought this one would be fun. You can now play sandbox campaigns, of course, because you can turn off the, um, the search for the souls. But also you can add new units to the game with these... Uh, with the work that awesome modders like Dead have done. And so let's show off some of his work today. Um, we've got here <laughs> probably one of the coolest of the new units. This is the Divine Lance Battery. So this is a nice like mid-range artillery piece that has decent weapon damage in melee, albeit its stats aren't that good in melee. And that makes sense, right? This is the similar type of balancing you've seen with, with units from CA that are such as this, like uh, Little Grom, for instance. Um, anyway, we've got uh, 15 ammunition, 300 range, and it's got some really strong missile strength AP, but this is an anti-large cannon, so that's kind of a cool deal there, where the cannon gives Cathay the ability to specifically target large units. Now, up front, I've got another new unit here. I'll back it up just a little bit, actually, um, where you all can see it um, without the green line in the way, because this battle hasn't started. And yes, we'll demonstrate some of these. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the Dragon Breath Gunners, and they are a rocket infantry, so 15 ammunition, 150 range. Uh, they are also anti-large um, in their focus. Right behind them is another sweet Wind new unit. This is the fire. Celestial Dragon Bannerman. This is going to be an elite spear unit uh, that is available to Cathay. Let's get their stats up on the screen there. Um, try and get my mouse further over here where you can see those unit models. Uh, so yeah, these are going to be um, slow moving, uh, not high attack, but very high defense and good anti-large. Um, just a nice, you know, defensive Every unit. They've got a harmony amplifier, though, of plus 25%. Off. So whatever they're near, they're going to add more harmony to it. So these are going to be great for guarding your crossbowmen and artillery because they will increase that harmony. So that's a cool deal. And then over here, we're going to have the juggernaut units, which also have kind of a turtle motif here in certain respects really love the armor on that but this one i believe has more of the grand cannon type of modeling in it um, but a very nice looking unit regardless and the juggernaut is going to be a short range artillery um, with pretty high strength um, missiles uh, but it is the burnt uh, here which is going to be a minus eight leadership this one's obviously not meant for any type of melee this is a more traditional type artillery unit and used to lower morale and Damage blobs, no doubt. And then we've got Peasant Horse Archers, and a very nice add here. Cathay doesn't have a lot of mobility, and putting ca uh, Peasant Horse Archers in there is a nice touch. It could lead to a playstyle that is similar in some ways to my sled spam with um, Kislev, meaning that you go out and you harass the enemy to get them to come attack you. Obviously, though, these Horse Archers are not going to have anywhere that near the uh, melee or survivability prowess um, that you have with uh, Bear Sleds. Anyway, those are the five units that Dead added in his mod. I have a Peasant Longspear in the back, just acting as a Lord unit. You might be saying, Air, how did you pick a Peasant Longspear as a Lord? Well, that's another mod. <laughs> I've got another mod that helps me um, pick units for unit testing. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead. I don't know if this um, terrain is going to be the best for my artillery, so I'm going to back them up a little bit. Let's test these units. I'm going to put my uh, Bannermen up here to support... Uh, my Iron rocket infantry, gunners. and let's test out these five new units. Archers. I've just got some Chaos Warriors of Corn out in front of me so that we can have Archers. something to shoot at. I know some of these units uh, were good against large, but that's okay. We'll we'll still get to see it being tested. And steel. Let's see, they are not quite in range of my second artillery piece. So here's the Peasant Horse Archers. Doing their thing. I don't expect they're going to cause much Order damage. But again, nice harassment unit. I think it's a good add to the uh, the Cathay roster. Anything that gives Cathay a little bit more mobility is always going to be appreciated. Ooh, look at that shot coming off of the uh, Divine Lance battery. That was brutal. Here's the Juggernaut. Almost more like a flame cannon. That's what that one looks like. That Divine Lance battery got an amazing first shot in there. Yeah, there we go. 
So we're getting some nice shots off the Juggernaut and the Divine Lance Battery. We'll let both of these units get some shots. And then we should see, let's get some close-ups of them firing as well. So here's our Divine Lance Battery. Get you all some cinematic footage of it. Very nice looking. And then let's get some close-up footage of our rocket infantry when they get a chance to do their work. So this is going to be the Dragon Breath Gunners. They should open fire any moment. They have a relatively short range. So they're meant to be a uh, short range. They're actually meant to be anti-large. They may have a line of sight issue too, because gun units sometimes can't shoot. Yeah, there they go. It was a line of sight. Ooh, that's cool looking. That is a very nice looking projectile that they fire. I'm going to fall back with them and let's watch our celestial bannermen here. They're just a defensive unit, of course. And uh, let's put this unit into melee just to see what it looks like in melee. I really like the um, Dragon Breath Grunner's projectiles. It looks really cool. It fires like a gun on a flat trajectory. Um, but appears to um, be meant, obviously, for anti-large. It looks like they're going to need line of sight, based on what I saw there. It, it looks like a Bastilladon is what he is used for the base unit there, if I had to just take a guess. But yeah, that'd be my guess, it's Bastilladon. Let's see these guys close up. Man, I love those projectiles. That looks so cool. <laughs> Dragon Breath Gunners. And then check out that Bannerman unit here. Look how well it's holding its ground. It's not an offensive unit. It's only got six kills, but... Holding its ground. Meanwhile, we've got the Lance Battery in here, a giant snapping turtle. <laughs> so, awesome mod here by Dead. I really appreciate the work he's put into this. You all should go check it out. I will have it linked in the description. If you want to add some more units for your cafe campaign to have a little extra fun, then this one is a good one. So go check out Dead's cafe units. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I'll see you all soon. Some more action in Total War Warhammer 3.